Senior leadership can be a key component to a team's success. Having a commodity like experienced players on a roster can solve a lot of issues on the court. Santa Clara head coach Kerry Keating has one of the best in redshirt senior forward Mark Trasolini, a player that has battled back from a potential career-ending injury for success on and off the court. Exciting day going back home, see the family and friends, play a few games. Can't wait to get on this flight and get back to the greatest city in the world. I first found out about it my junior year, two years ago, um, that I'd be going back to Vancouver and we'd be playing four or five home games. While we're in Vancouver, we're playing four uh, different teams, or three different teams, four games. Um, and I'm pretty close with a lot of the guys, um, so I'm looking forward to seeing some old friends. I was so excited, obviously, going home to play in front of my parents. All my friends, I mean, I had like hundreds of people that wanted to come watch me. So where I went to school, I was one of these kids uh, about six or seven years ago. Hey, hey Dad, who's this guy? I brought the team back. He was ready to go because, I mean, that's his hometown. He was ready to play in front of his, uh, his family and friends. We're at the Capilano Suspense Bridge. About to go over a big bridge. Oh, the rest are scared. Oh, you think it's moving? I think it's moving. <laughs> It was cool. <laughs> <laughs> and then first game, first game in, two minutes in, uh, just went down with the injury. I see a lot of traumatic injuries happening these, these days, and obviously one that Mark went through preparing himself uh, through a long stretch to be a senior last year. Uh, go back home and play in front of his, uh, his home uh, crowd and his, his uh, family and friends back in Vancouver. So I got an MRI the next day and uh, found out that I tore my ACL and my meniscus and just heartbroken. When you have a serious injury like that, you think, will I ever be the same player? Will I be able to come back? Am I going to be still playing basketball? Am I going to be able to play pro someday? Is this going to affect me in the future? You know, a lot, of, a lot of questions go through your head, a lot of doubts. At the beginning, you're always going to be a little down. Like I told him, like I was the same way when I broke my foot. So I just told him that it's going to be all right. Like you're going to come back, you're going to be fine, you're going to, you're going to come back stronger. And in no time, he started getting back on the court and getting his confidence back in his legs. And uh, it, it was it went really well for him. We talked about a lot. I think I definitely grew closer with Kevin through that time. He definitely had a lot of good things to say and was just really encouraging and supportive of, of me. To be out there on the floor and not not help my team and, and seeing the way we were losing games and, and knowing that I should have been out there helping them was, was very difficult. But I tried to make the most out of it and make it into an opportunity um, and learn as much and get, and get better and grow. Comforting for me as a coach to have a guy like that on your roster uh, and add and have that late of an addition uh, in, in a way that maybe most people don't expect. But it's certainly excited for him. And, excited he's able to come back and take advantage of the extra time by getting himself into an NBA program too. Transolini steps into a 16-footer and rattles it home. Boy, Mark played with so much confidence after the devastating knee injury last year, get him out of the lineup for the entire season, has come back in a big way. A milestone that I looked forward to ever since I hurt myself getting back on the floor and, and playing in a Santa Clara University uh, uniform. And so I was a little hesitant at first, but I think as each game went, I really gained confidence and momentum. And uh, by the second or third game, I was good to go. Buried by Trasolini. We talked about him, Mark Trasolini, the guy that missed all of last year with the torn ACL, starting to make his presence known for the Broncos. School is something that's very important to me. Some of them, my parents have always taught me that it's very important, you know, sometime after basketball is done, you're going to have to do something else with your life. That's something that I proud myself on. I was able to graduate with a, a very good grade point average. I, I graduated early, so I had the opportunity to go to graduate school, which is something that I think will really help me after my basketball career is done. On the court and off the court, he's, he's pretty much a, a balance. He's, he's well balanced, so it's really good that he's good, really good at basketball and really smart. And, I mean, I feel like that's a great example to, to show for like the, the, the freshman coming in and everybody else. Foster, Trezzolini, two-handed dunk for Trezzolini. This is really a word that encompasses the, the sort of whole package, and that's something that's very important to me, being well-rounded, the community, uh, performing in the classroom and on the court, and I think that that's just a great list to be a part of, and, and I'm very blessed to be a part of that list. It's the end of the road. I mean, we, we have five seniors on this team. We, gotta, we know what to expect, so we have to make sure we're leading this team because 
with the experience we have, we should we shouldn't be going deep into the conference tournament, and we should be doing well in the conference. Download a translate you dumps it over Aylers. I think basketball opens a lot of doors. It gives you lots of opportunities. It just puts you in a place that you can really succeed and where you really can be a leader and do things that make a difference. Let's take a quick look at our WCC Game of the Week scheduled next week. Portland will be at number three, Gonzaga. That is March 2nd. All right, now, Coach, it's such a great story about a kid that wouldn't let an injury keep him off the basketball court. He battled back to join his team and be effective. I mean, that's really what college basketball is all about. It certainly is. It speaks to his perseverance because while he was getting healthy, he was also being a student of the game. And watching him in high school, everybody knew that he could shoot from the perimeter. An excellent pick-and-pop player. But I just like that he's come back bigger, better, and stronger. He's been finishing at the rim. He grabs rebounds. We know he has range to 17 foot, but I like him in the post, in the paint. This year, he showed me that he has a jump hook. He's rebounding. This team started out very strong, 10 and 3, and now sort of has tailored off. He's going to need a big weekend and a big finish for this team to finish the way Kerry Keating would like. Great stories every single week in the WCC. That's it for me and Coach. We'll get you back to Portland after the break.